governor of Cardona State, Nasa Erofai. <laughs> yes, has reacted to the trending topic of Muslim Muslim presidential tickets, which most people kicked against. We should all recall that the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, and the former secretary to the government of the Federation, Wabache Lawa, kicked against Muslim Muslim tickets, stating that Nigerians will not accept it. Erufai stated his reasons why a Muslim Muslim ticket shouldn't be a problem on Chinese television's special edition of Politics Today via Zoom. And according to him, his deputy governor, Hariza Sabuwa Balarabi, is a Muslim. And when he picked her, he was told he would lose the election. He said the election was a landslide victory. And that because his deputy is a Muslim, didn't even stop her from being a powerful woman. Erufai said that the business of governance has nothing to do with religion and that selection should be that selection should be based on ability and readiness to cause a positive change and not religion. Erufai said when he goes to the airport, he doesn't even ask the religion for the religion of the pilots, and when he goes to the hospital, he doesn't ask for the religion of the doctor. He said the way people are rejecting religion in politics and governance is sad and pathetic, really. But you, when it comes to politics, <laughs> it's a different thing altogether. Forget it. Forget it. Because all those uh, areas that you made mention, people pay for them. It's a private thing. People pay for them. They pay for the services. But when it comes to the dividends of democracy that everybody's supposed to be enjoying, we have only some few individuals who are enjoying. That is why we have a uh, poverty all over the place. The, the, the rate of uh, poverty in the land is alarming. Because the what is supposed to be shared among everybody is just in the hands of the few, really. How many people are being paid uh, benefits? It's called benefits in the uh, uh, devel developed countries. Those who you have a lot of unemployment people now. How many of them do you give stipends? But what do you do? Even if you want to have that, if you have that program, you still try to select it and put it in the hand of a uh, your so-called uh, northerners and in terms of education, you try to do what you call quota system. Why is it that the scores are not uniform everywhere? If you don't want to go to school, forget it. If you want to learn, you have to learn. You see, you said the same thing, that your people are the one undoing themselves because they don't want to learn. They are so lazy. They still brought the mark so low, yet they don't go to school. So who are you to blame? So why is it that uh, we are having a quota system? Why is it that uh, you have uh, different marks for different people? You are telling us uh, it does not matter. Really? He said, what we should be after is development and not religion. Adding that the developmental strides of a person in power is never a function of the person's religion. But it is it is in Nigeria here, yeah. Because I have never seen a Fulani S-man who has been arrested for all this... Uh, atrocities they have been committing not only in your region but all over nigeria they would say power from above order from above let them be released he said we are faced with insecurity economic meltdown global issues that what some people are concerned with is the religion of who will be president or vice it is not our religion that we solve our problem it is the people who are competent and capable that we address the problem of Nigeria, unite the country and put it on a progressive path. He said, your mouth was sharp pia, 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 during good Lord Jonathan's time when the insecurity was still the problem. You were like, by the time you people come in, it's going to be just like Ebuari made that promise that within six months, everything will be over. Seven years down the line, it's even worse. What have you done? But you were so harsh. You were angry. You were bitter. Oh my God! Ah, good luck, Jonathan. He's not serious about this thing. Oh, because uh, the 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 children. I can remember the Chibo guests that we are. Uh, they were that were kidnapped. Then you say, if it were to be their children, would they have allowed them to do that? But we have a lot of people under your under your this thing. What have you done? Because you ask other people that if it were to to be their children, they will not sleep. They will want to make sure that those children are out of uh, the den of the kidnappers. But we have. We were even talking about it to something then. What, how many? More than thousands are in the den of the kidnappers. Kidnappers, And yet, you people have not been able to do anything. You are not calm. You are not calm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You are not calm. So, he said a uh, Muslim Muslim ticket is not going to be a, 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 a bad idea. 
for the fact that if it works for you in your this thing, <laughs> yeah, Kaduna is not a southeast. Too. Kaduna is not a southwest. Kaduna is not a south south. So you can do that and get away with that over there. Those are the things that you need to put into consideration. Hmm. Okay, wise man. Okay, then <laughs> let's try a Christian Christian ticket. Let's see what will happen. Very good. Make them try Christian Christian ticket. The one Islamized Nigeria. Aerofire is is it because uh, you are running for VP? Nigeria is not a Kaduna city where you have Muslim Muslim ticket. I am a Muslim and I want justice. So Christian must be taken for VP. It is fair to be fair. Period. And other selfish, any other selfish permutation and combination is sowing discord. And what will be ripped will be unpleasant. Politicians are known to be selfish. This is a typical example. God bless you. We used to be one before. These wicked politicians use religion to scatter all of us. It says run his evil agenda in our dear Cardinal State and now want to take it up. It's Nigeria, his mate, that he wants to toy around with. <laughs> okay, if Tinubu chooses a northern, a Christian northern, northern as, as VP, we shall articulate dare us and see ashwa you erify for president we shall laugh okay now let's see now points of correction you read the election nothing like landslide even your muslim brothers rejected your choice of a woman for a deputy for in islam women are half brain and so it is an insult for a woman to rule over a man like seriously by the way if she was so powerful, why didn't she clinch the APC gubernatorial tickets? He won fair and square. Bam. Can this man and Muslims in Nigeria accept Christian Christian tickets? This is uh, where we got it wrong. And you will go, you will again by insulting people at just a poor message like uh, you are. What are you saying? I don't understand it. Please don't bring confusion in the country. We are used to Muslim Christian. You succeeded in Kaduna State because Christians are peace-loving people. If not, it would have been a religion crisis. Can Muslims in Kaduna allow Christian Christian tickets? It can be possible. It can be possible. You are saying all this because you are eyeing the seeds and you will not get it by God's grace. Hmm. Well, what is the result of a Muslim Muslim government in Kaduna State? So does it mean we don't have a we don't have a competent Christian. So that's not what we are talking about. In as much we have a we have a good and competent people. Because that is what they have already said. So I don't know how they're gonna change it. When it favors you, uh -huh, you want to go in that line. When it does not favor you, when it does not favor you, you begin to speak a different language. We have a competent and great and wonderful people in all the geopolitical zones, in all the religions, we have good people, we have Competent people in, in 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 other religion Christianity they have a competent people so why not then why why are you not making it this thing because if you go to Christian you will see competent people what is what are you what do you what do you guys are, what are you saying no way for Muslim Muslim tickets those clamoring for it are the ones responsible for the religious intolerance in Nigeria today if you talk of competence uh, Tinubu shouldn't even be there because he's sick and old. That is where he will give reasons. That is where he will give his religious by gods. Sometimes you talk like somebody who is not reasonable. You didn't even, you did that in Kaduna and said from now on, no Christian should be deputy. How suffer any Muslim can't fix Nigeria's problem. They are incapacitated, geared by religion. And you might be surprised, you might still have some people who are, but people always uh, make mention of a uh, Yaradra. Was Yaradra like that? Or because he didn't spend much time? Or what? The, the little time he spent. And I think uh, maybe he was more educated. I don't understand whether that was just his kind of person. Because people are always referring to... What's this man's name? The uh, Yaradra. People always refer to him as a very, very liberal and very reasonable person. So it might not really be like that. I just believe that in anything you want in this life, good people, the good, the bad, or the ugly... They are all embedded in all religion, in all ethnic groups. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.